It's issue 55 of Common Comic Covers, an appreciation podcast for non-key comics. Joining me today is my is is the co-host, Andy. Hello. Cheer, I'm cheers. I'm finally thankful for Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh man. It took you a while, but uh it did. Yeah, good. I realized that the episode that we I said it was the Thanksgiving episode, I was like, life sucks. <laughs> like, yeah, it was a little rough. But you're doing but, all right now. You're a little more thankful now. I'm more thankful now. Yes. Yes. Good. Um good. oh uh so Jeremy, yeah. I'm gonna keep interrupting you. Mm-hmm. So do you you remember like what the friend zone is from growing up? Yeah, I was like, I was pretty yeah, yeah, king yeah. of friend zone. I feel like I was super friend friend zone. Yeah, you had a, you had more friends than than uh, yeah. Anyway, I had a lot of lady friends that were legitimately friends. I don't know where this conversation is going. You, know, it's <laughs> let me guide you. Take my hand. <laughs> okay. Um, Do you have a question? Or are you just are you just wanting to you kind of reliving things right now? No, times, no, no, no. Times, times are hard right now. Or? Times are hard right now. No, I wanted to. Uh, it, it's related to something later in the show. But okay. have you ever like? And I feel like I'm getting friend zoned by a comic seller. Like there mm-hmm. is a comic book mm-hmm. I want to buy. Mm-hmm. I bought it. He didn't have it anymore. Oh. And then I went back and checked. It's on there. So I was like, oh, you found it. I can't. I'd love to buy it again. Oh, it's on there. A mistake. Seven days later, I checked today. It's still on there. I'm like, you like, it's mm-hmm. like. Um, mm-hmm. He's just dragging you along. Yeah. Teasing yeah. me. And like, so. Does, is it a bid? No, it was a. Is he um, wanting more money than your, your. Getting it, yeah. For? So he was running a sale on his website, and I bought it when it was on sale, and it was okay. like 40% off. So it was oh, like, wow. yeah, it was a big, um, interesting. Expensive book. Now, was this so, an Instagram, not eBay? It was through Shopify. Shopify, okay. yeah. I've, I've not bought or viewed anything on Shopify. So I found him on um, eBay, okay. and he didn't doesn't accept offers on it on eBay, but he had when I first liked it had sent me an offer. I was like, I kind of was like, here I can give you this much for it. Okay, okay. And <clears throat> and then that that was then the and you, you, usually, you usually give pretty good offers. You're not a low baller. Well, it was hard to value it because it's a it's a golden age book. Okay. And it's a point five. Okay. And it uh, is the Canadian edition of a Golden Age book. And those Man, are more check, rare. It's checking all your boxes. It is, yeah, yeah. They're, those are more rare, but they tend to be less expensive. Like okay. they seem to be cheaper. The market's kind of okay. like, well, these aren't. And they came, they didn't come out at the same time. They came out like weeks later or something like that. So, where, not... so where. Where's the relationship right now with you and this comic book seller? Where are you guys at yet? I'm, 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 th- I'm, I'm, I mean, it's, it's broken. You're not, yeah. You, you yeah. think you're just, you might just be friends. I think, I think they have the book. They just realized that they sold it to me for a price that they weren't willing to sell it for. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. They, I'm sorry to hear about that. It's hard. Yeah. It's really frustrating because it's, there's not a lot of these books. And like, I was like, oh, Great. So why don't you just make him an offer that he's oh. that he originally sent you? Um, that's more. That's more than you want to spend. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's kind of okay. my comfort level in spending is. Okay, Andy, I, yeah. I, uh, I can't wait to hear how this concludes. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah we can continue with the episode. I love it. Hey, we're going to talk our common comic covers today. We're going to look at what it's worth. Where I have no idea. Yeah. Our inbox, the hot 10. Hot 10. From Key Collector. And then we'll take you on a tour. Andy, what is your common comic cover today? Yeah, it's it's a fun um it's golden a fun age book. Canadian variant. It's no. a golden age Canadian variant mm-hmm. of bikinis. Mm-hmm. Bikini women. <laughs> no. <Jeez. laughs> uh, no, it's um you know, we have the Bruce Tim. I really like the Bruce Tim stuff. Mm-hmm. And so I was yep. like thinking about other 
Yeah, um, we haven't we haven't shown his stuff in a while. Yeah, yeah, but I was like, but a while ago, I was like, I'm gonna get start dabbling in this guy, and it hits oh. uh, it's uh, Michael Turner. Oh sure, yeah. And this is uh, so he <laughs> there it so, is. There they are. I told you, bikini. So this is Witchblade here. Okay. Um, oh sure, sure. And, and I just picked Fa- this one. Fathom. This is, and this is Fathom. Yeah, yeah. And this, uh, yeah. No, what's the? Is that the name of the comic book? Fathom. Yeah, Fathom. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. This is the most salacious cover but, of the ones I have. Yes. Um, but that uh, I yeah. This is uh, Michael Turner throughout the whole book. Yeah, that's so awesome. it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He and he uh, sadly passed away from cancer, and this mm-hmm. is from July of uh, two thousand. Mm-hmm. Um, this is cover twelve B. Okay. Um, and it's from the first series from nineteen ninety eight. So, yeah. 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 I've never cool read any, any Fathom. You know, I haven't yet either. I got can't, the run. Um, I can't, can't even fathom. I can't even fathom what I'm missing. Can't even <laughs> but I'm, I don't have. I don't have issue one. Uh, oh. But the rest of like one through twelve. Who writes? Uh, is it Turner? Does he do the writing as well in those? He does the story. Yeah. Man. Yeah, it's great. Um, but I was like, I've been sitting on this book for a while. I was like, ah, yeah, yeah. You know, because sometimes when you do a string of like just attractive women, it's kind of it makes you look like a big creepy weirdo. So I just sprinkle them in so I don't, I don't <laughs> give it off. Spread it out so, so people aren't on to you too off. soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, good, good. Okay, what, Jeremy, what's your comment? Yeah, so you? all the books I'm sharing tonight are from one haul that I did the other day. Oh. Uh, I, I've broken them into my common cover, my inbox, and my tour. But um, shout out to the man behind the comics. Oh, this guy. He, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've shouted out him before. He has a few different booths um, here in eastern Washington and in Idaho. I think he's even got one in Montana. But there's a couple in my area um, that I try to frequent. And I, I found some great books the other day. Um, that cool. I'm really excited about. So that I found it is Post Falls. Um, he's in antique dealers, but then has a you know booth with thousands and thousands of comics. Really good prices. Yeah. Uh, and he's always at the the Lilac City Comic Con. So my comic common comic cover. I really like this cover. There's a lot going on, but I think it's cool. This is Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man number eighty-two. Not oh, cool. I mean, you have a who's who right here. Yep. You have Cloak and Dagger. Punisher. Oh, I didn't see yeah, Punisher the, at first. Yep. Yeah, this is the Punisher. There's Kingpin. There's Spidey. I like his web coming down here. This yeah, is the fun. this is the first time. I mean, it's not really a key, but the first um Punisher versus Kingpin. Andy, this is a, a Al Migram cover. I mean, this is your team. This is Al Migram yep. and Bill yep. Mantlow. This is yeah. This is your team of of uh, creators that you like. This is from 1983. Um, Cloak and Dagger, and it obviously the Punisher versus Kingpin. Really fun book. Really cool. Um, I just think it's I. I would okay. I think this cover, if I can, if I if I may be so um, uh, bold. critical, oh, bold. critical. Yeah. If if you took out Cloak and Dagger, I think it'd be a, an incredible cover. Like it's cool mm, as it is, yeah. But if you just remove cloak and dagger from it, and you just have the black and white city, you're going to see the Punisher a lot better. Yeah. I love Kingpin and his size Spider Man. I think he right where he's at, hanging down yeah. from the top. Um, I think this cover would have just been over the top yeah. cool. But yeah, you rescale a- it and have mm-hmm. yeah. But that mm-hmm. that's a it's a cool cover idea that you could. I want to see you do the pencils on the next the. The yeah, homage. yeah, everyone wants to see that. Andy, <laughs> why don't we give it a go? What's it worth? What now? Oh, am yeah. I gonna? Is this is this the book that you're trying to get? Is that what you're yeah. gonna show me? Yeah, yeah, it you is. You said you referred to it later <clears throat> in the show, so this has to yep. be it. Yeah, this is it. So this oh, is wow. uh, Detective oh, Comics so cool. 142. Yeah, it's a it's the second appearance of the Joker. The Joker's uh, Batman's bursting through a um, what are those called? The crossword puzzle. It's it's yeah. just awesome. Uh, I love second appearance of the of the Joker. Yeah, second appearance of the Joker. Yeah. Okay, and you're trying to win this at a point five. 
and not win it. I had it. I purchased it for four hundred and something dollars, and now it's back. He has it still for seven hundred and fifty or something like that. <laughs> it's like, it's like, there's a big difference for me in those two price points for a point five Canadian. Um, but yeah. So a five point five sold today. I put a bid on it. I did not win it. Um, do you have a guess? Uh oh. Oh no, we lost Jeremy. Or maybe I'm back. Okay. <laughs> what? What was the last thing you? Anyways, so this sold today a five point okay. five. Uh, I put a bid on it. I didn't win. What? What's your guess? Two thousand dollars. Dude, that's pretty good. It sold for twenty eight eighty. So good. Okay, that's that's probably the closest I've come ever. Uh, by percentage, probably yeah. That's yeah, great. By percentage. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm proud. Okay, good job. Well, that's a that's a great book, and you're you're you won, but you didn't get a point five of that book. Man, that's a cool book. That cover. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't change a thing on that one. No, right? Yeah, no, that's a great one. Yeah. Okay, Andy, what is in? In your inbox, this is what we're reading, oh. what we just bought, something yeah. we got, so we're keen on, if you will. Yeah. Uh, so I, I got um, some books um, a couple weeks ago. Um, oh, no. I was going to, I was, I told him I was going to shout him out. And now I can't remember um, his uh, Instagram handle, but I ended up picking up two books. So this book baffling oh, cool. which is an ace horror title so i collect the ace horror titles um because of my late great uncle um but this is a uh, baffling 23 i didn't have it it's a cool bondage cover love it that's yep. awesome yep um Beautiful book. yeah and then i got this one and the, he um he packaged it so well and so securely um it was great all famous crime mm. uh which number is this eight and it's an lb cole cover oh wow so um but it got the problem was that it now these need to be pressed and cleaned too either one of these this is a 5.5 and it hasn't been pressed and cleaned uh this is a, a 4.0 hasn't been pressed and cleaned um, and I got just it shifted. It shifted in the case, and so oh, it, it kind of oh. tore up the the corner here. Oh yeah! And it like knocked out fuzz. It like knocked out like some lint that was in the book. It was like that's crazy. Anyway, yeah. So I contacted him, and he he he. Um, sorry, it gave me some uh, money back. You're you're a little frazzled right now. Am I? Sorry. Yeah. I just hit the microphone with the the these. You're all right. We're okay. we're pros. We're pros. We're pros. That's right. Yeah, we're pros. So I'm not. I don't. I don't feel like I was frazzled. Um, but he, um, he gave me some money back, and then it was like, "I'll give you a hundred dollar credit for the next purchase." I was nice. like, "Okay, that's fair." Wow. And so, you can't even remember his name to shout him out. Wow. Yeah. Let me. Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell. I'll tell when you're showing your your inbox. All right, sounds good. Okay. All right, I got two books again from my haul from the other day. Uh, Man behind the comics. First one. This is Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man number sixty-nine. This is the second Cloak and Dagger. Nice. I paid three dollars for this book in beautiful condition. This is that's a, a cooler. I like that cover better than the first appearance. I think. It's. I like both those two covers, but yeah. Um, Ed Hannigan is the cover artist, Bill Mantlo and it's cloak and dagger, 1982, um, a lot going on in this cover, but I wouldn't change a thing. Really yeah. cool cover. Yeah. Um, fun book. I like and the throwback. Other... Oh what? yeah. Good. I like the throwback, but throwback to the, the Spidey light that he had on that bait, you know, the silly, the silly Spider-Man flashlight that he had. <laughs> so, yes. I'm not following, but I'm going to keep moving on. Okay. Um, my next one uh, is Thor 137. 
Ooh. I paid four dollars. It's huh. in really, really rough condition. Yeah. Um, but great, great book. It's a Jack Kirby cover, Vince Coletta inks. Stanley writes it's the first appearance of Olick. Um, I was looking, I forgot to grab it, but that Frank Miller, Captain America, I showed. Um that guy looks like I'm trying to remember who it was. I should have brought it, but mm -hmm. um kind of looks like a similar character that Frank Miller drew. I don't think it was Ulick though. Yeah. Um, but that's that's it for my inbox, and then I, I'll share the rest of what I got at the uh, tour. Man, the man behind the comic store in the tour. So Andy, right. what's uh, oh oh we're gonna do the oh, hot yeah. ten of the week. Oh yeah, hot <clears> ten of the week. You know, I liked uh I don't have that book. And it's a this shame. One? Yeah, I don't have that one. I'll sell it to you for four dollars. It's a bit rich. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that sounds fair. Um, I'll okay. trade it to you. You're more of a Thor guy than I am. I just couldn't leave it there for four dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put it in the stack of books coming your way that I'm making. Okay. Um, Swamp Thing number one. So first appearance of second Swamp Thing. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. And that's uh, uh Bernie Wrights, and I think isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and Len Wynn, I think is him. Yeah, that's a cool run. Yeah, not to be, not to be confused with the saga of the Swamp Thing number one. No, I think I do have that. This uh, Swamp Thing number one. I did, but I sold it to a guy in Fred Meyer parking lot. Oh, you did? So, no, not Saga, one. but the regular this Swamp Thing number one. I had. I sold one. the Saga. Okay, so okay. Um, Silver yeah, Surfer number like one. That. Ooh, those are two great books. Yeah. Well, first Craven. Okay. So Amazing Spider Man 15. number 15. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Second appearance of the chameleon, too. First mention okay. of Mary Jane. Oh, that's yep. an important book. Oh, man. Fantastic 448. I think I might be done. First appearance of Silver Surfer. First appearance of. I. You Come know on. what? I bought this book for $250. Yeah. And I sold it graded at a four or a three, five, four, five. Sold it for like $900. Okay. So, oh man. Batman 232. These are some great books. Yeah. They actually got a good, the good hot list this week. Okay. Amazing Spider-Man 300. That's okay, good. That, that's the one I'm dropping. So <laughs> okay. oh no. 361. 361. Okay. Yeah. Is that the, Carnage, Star Wars number one. Okay, yeah. first appearance of Darth Vader. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm big fan. And, well, I mean, and then Silver Surfer number three, first appearance of Mephisto. Yeah, I've been like lusting over that book for a while. I just kind of and Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number eight. Yeah, and that's it. That's uh, it. I'm getting rid of Margaret. The Secret Wars number eight. And I'm taking mm. uh, Fantastic Four number, what is it, 48, First Prince Silver Surfer. Mm, okay, it. First Silver uh, Surfer. That's an easy one. Yeah, I'm taking uh, Silver Surfer 3 because okay. I want it. And I'm dropping um, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 361. Three, yeah, that yeah, sounds good. No, I don't either. I get those out either. <laughs> yeah. All right. I like it. Andy, take us on a tour. I always oh. love. Uh, I love where you take us. Yeah, this is a real easy tour. I Good. read, Good. I was reading Saga of the Swamp Thing. Mm, and good for you. It, this, this comics blew my mind. And so I'm going to okay. show it. Okay. Okay. It is Swamp, Swamp Thing number 34. Yeah. The painted cover. And this, this, this is, this, so like, it's so against like what I expect in comic books. She expresses, she's like, you know what, Swamp Thing? I love you. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I love you too. And then it's like, well, it doesn't really work between a plant and a person. Right. And they like, they kiss. It's like this magical thing. And then he throws this fruit out of him. And then he's like, I want you to eat it. Mm -hmm. She takes a bite of it. And then it's like this psychedelic mm -hmm. drug loves trip. Mm -hmm. It's like this crazy, <laughs> like, like what is going on? 
And I'm just like, I'm so thankful that they did. They just were like, we're going to do it. We're going to like, yeah. they're going to make it. They're going to be mm -hmm. lovers. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. And we're going to, it's just, yeah, gonna it's be really, it's, want. it's really clear what Alan Moore is doing there. Oh so, yeah. 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 But it's like, it's, but it's, but it's cool. It's not trashy. No, it's not trashy at all. And it says, does this mean we're going out? <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like you know, then in the last pages, like they're not, racing and they're casino. not. They're uh, not. She's not in the friend zone. No, she got out of the friend zone, which yep. was hard yep. to do in high school. Mm -hmm. So, um, just kidding. Sorry. you know. All right. Uh, I, I have. You're playing the. You're playing this friend zone role that. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll okay. stop. I would like you to take me on a tour. <laughs> Take my hand. <laughs> I would like you. To... <laughs> you, you turn. I, I have had this. Is more, I usually don't have alcohol. So. <laughs> All right, finishing up my run from the other day. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is a tour because the this is not all of them, but this is a good stack of Gene colon detective comics covers oh cool so these are all gene colon covers um yeah we'll just start so this is detective Com and these are from the first three are from 1982 and then the rest are from 1983 uh, so detective comics number 510 gene colon yeah batman in some sort of chair love it Detective Comics 512, Gene Colon. Um, the Fatal Prescription of Dr. Death. Batman hang from there. Okay. Detective Comics 517, Batman on the cover with Robin and Alfred right there. Beautiful. Beautiful cover. Here's another. We talked about the, uh, the crucifix, you know, how that works itself yeah. into things. Here's 528, Batman uh, in, the, in the crucifix. Mm pose there yep. getting ready to get a knife thrown at him it's really cool you can see the reflection in the knife of whoever's holding it and it's like this cool skeleton look right uh, there yeah, that's cool yeah batman's unconscious okay detect and these were all three four two dollars right around there 529 the thief of the night and these are in decent shape huh oh they're in great condition good that's cool uh, here's another one uh, so i got a nice run here here's 530 Gene Colon, the advertisement for Superman 3 on yeah. there. Yeah. Nocturna. That's... Yeah, here's a cool one. Some crazy clowns on it. If you don't like clowns, this won't help. They have knives <laughs> and an axe and rope. 531 by Gene Colon. Uh, I like that cover. That's a cool cover. And then last but not least, 532. Um, I, I did pay $10 for this one, but well worth it. It's huh. really cool. Old Batman is tied up on the tracks and the Joker train is chugging along. <laughs> kind of goofy, but this is awesome. You texted, the, you texted this to me and I, I said, choo-choo. Choo-choo. <laughs> That's awesome. That's, it. That's my tour. Um, oh. I did leave a few back, but I'll probably go yeah. and get them another time. I think that'd be a fun little run to get for the Gene Colan detective run. Yeah, the guys, the guys done over a thousand comic books, so it's endless. Yeah, he's not hard to collect. He's so underrated, and yeah. I was looking at like key issues that Gene Colan has. That's got to be one of our one shots. The key issues that that guy has had his hand in uh, are some pretty key. Um, yeah. key books in, in the in the, the first comics. first daredevil artist um no 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 he's not no but he blade is the first appearance of blade he's the first mm. he did a bunch of dracula um iron man number one um falcon he's a co-creator i think co-creator co-artist yeah. or the artist for the falcon and blade so pretty pretty significant characters, but so yeah, they went they went from Kirby to Steranko to Colon, and pretty quickly with Captain America. I think you're right. Yeah, that's that's awesome. There's not uh, a lot of Steranko. There's like three or four. Three, yeah, but it's like 
10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah. Or something like that. Something yeah. like that. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's the end of the I show. Have, yeah. That's in the show. I have the detective comics um, in that same trade dress. It has to be around that same time, but it's like Jim Aparo did the art. Mm. Oh, that's cool. So I'm wondering when that transition happened. But anyways, yep. as uh, Ringo Starr says, peace, love, peace, love.